fantastic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues but now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season the earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer and now there are just two teams standing a show not just for the capacity crowd here but one for the whole world the global audience they say some 300 million It is terrific to be here in the foothills of the Alps at this most notable of modern stadia, the home of Juventus. So we're almost there. All one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for this? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. So, just who will seize their moment? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Marquinhos. And here's Herrera. And it's played forward. It is fascinating, is it not, on this occasion, above all others, simply to wonder what is going through the heads of these, these two extraordinary tactics. I, I just think at this stage, Peter, they'll both be happy to stick to trying to figure each other out for any potential weaknesses. He's just said the Yeah, but at the same time, there'll be a, a lot of nervousness out there, and you can certainly pick up on whoever doesn't make the best start and maybe look to exploit that. Looks to thread it up to meet it! And he just whacks it away. It's Verratti. That's a good ball, and he's gone for it! Oh, he's really drilled it. Keeper felt he had that covered. Some of the crowd were less convinced. It was really well drilled. Marquinhos. Has he found his man? Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Now it's Cavani. Mbappe. Mbappe! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Verratti. Messi. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Draxler. Looking to break out here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Surely, he's had a go! This could fall, oh, that is up, and another time! Goal! Barcelona! Could that be the start of something big? Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need them. They paid the price and deserved it. Barcelona take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it, rather than even thinking about losing it. Volker can claim that. <laughs> 
Hoists it forward. It's come loose. Barcelona get it back again. Longley. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Ball. Who's going to get that? And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Neymar. And he's onside. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Got to throw in. It into them. Has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Suarez really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Messi to take it as usual. Diago Silva attempts a clearance. And it's got through. Jackson. Kimpembe, and it's Draxler, and the Herrera. Now it's Luis Suarez, and there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but not it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. And more than decent game up to this. So to the halfway point of the final, what do you think? Barcelona have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half-time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half-time. Barcelona are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Messi. Piquet. Longley, Jordi Alba. Looking for space out wide. And he's there to cut it out. Di Maria. Cavani gets into a dangerous position. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Paris Saint-Germain seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. He's making a real search on the left. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Di Maria did well to emerge with the ball. That's a oh, real danger here. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, taken with style. A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. An act of charity gratefully received. Time for a change in personnel. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Roberto does well to read it and intercepts. Forward it goes. It's a promising ball. Well, no, that is pretty much the end of that. Finds himself eased off the ball. Jordi Alba. Neymar. Gets the better of his man. And the defence can get it clear. Di Maria demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Suarez is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, his stealth has been compromised. Well, he's fouled in there. He has shown him a yellow card. 
his body language here is a bit grim. It is not looking great at all. That could spell trouble. It's Isake. No, no way through there. And it's Ferrati. Ferrati goes looking. Neymar. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Bernat plays it forward. Ferrati. Neymar. Thiago Silva just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. And it's Neymar. Jordi Alba is charging up on the overlap. Neymar. That's good defending, very good defending. Idris again. Marquinhos. Marquinhos goes looking. Jordi Alba to be better than that, and he knows it. And his time is up, and there goes the whistle. Simply, the big day was their day. A day for them and their fans, a truly proud line in their history. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.